guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a pretty awesome Vins haul. Uh, I think I've got about 34 pieces. I did try to go a little bit lighter this week. I got myself out of there at a good time, but there's some really like special pieces, some pieces uh, from designers and creatives that I can't wait to share with you, as well as some great, you know, bread and butter, everyday, quick seller type stuff. But if you are new here, first and foremost, welcome, welcome aboard. I am Julia. I talk all things thrifting and reselling and vintage. Uh, if that is something that you are into, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. I know some of you are waiting to see who gets this incredible little pillow purse. We had a lot of people want it, so I'm going to be doing a drawing. I'm actually filming this a little bit earlier in the week, and I want to give a little bit of time for anybody who wants to enter to enter, so I'm going to insert the footage of me doing a drawing at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until the end to see if you are the one who won. I will let you know how to get in contact with me. I'll also, if you are the person who won it, I will also comment on uh, the comment you left on my last video, um, just to make sure that you see it. But guys, without further ado, I cannot wait to get into this haul, so go grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back, relax, and let's get into the goods. So the first piece up here, this is a this is a free people piece and it's super special like i love finding these kind of like over the top free people pieces like free people has a lot of like bread and butter stuff that's gonna sell just based on it being kind of a popular piece but if you really want to make some money off of something that is free people you need to find something with details like this now this has a little bit of staining on it and it's all stuff that i'm pretty confident that i can get out fairly easily but look at the embroidery work on this. Isn't that incredible? And it's got this like little lattice work. It's got the little lattice work here on the bodice as well. Um, I'm not quite sure what the name of this is. It is a size two, which is interesting. I don't often see free people pieces in numbered sizes. So this might be a little bit of an older piece, but I don't think that matters. But I just think this is so, so pretty. So when this goes, I'm not quite sure what this will go for. Some of these kind of pieces that are special and unique or in demand, you know, they go into the 200s. I'm still going to bank on probably 30 or 40 on this. If I get more, that's going to be gravy. But I just thought this was so pretty and I couldn't leave it behind, even with a little bit of staining. The staining's here on the back. But like I said, I'm pretty confident I can get that out. I can get most stains out of anything. So very cool, very cool piece and a great way to start. Next up here, we got a great little bread and butter piece. And this is a great pair of joggers from Athleta. They are a size 14. This is one of the newer tags. Love to see a size 14. Larger sizes in Athleta always go really fast for me. They are a jogger style. They're a little bit of a more like a like a slick fabric versus like a brushed fabric. I don't know how else to describe that to you like verbally, uh, but they don't feel like the Lululemon Align. They feel more like the Lululemon um, New Luxe fabric, if that makes sense to any of you. It's got a little bit more of like a slick finish to it, a little stripe down the side. These stripe patterns, while I think they're, they're not something that I personally would go for, they tend to go better than like the basics for me. Um, I, maybe it's because they make a limited amount and they're in demand. I don't know what it is, but prints usually do very well for me in Athleta. So something to keep your eyes out for. Next up, now this was a cool thing that I saw. So I saw, it was just like a t-shirt, right? It just said t-shirt, MCA, which is the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago. But then I saw this. Let me get you in on this tag. And I saw JFG. And I know exactly who that is. This guy's name is Joe Fresh Goods. And he is a creative, he's a designer out of Chicago. Obviously, MCA is a Chicago museum. He's a designer out of Chicago who has done collabs with Nike and Adidas and like the Soho House and all of these kind of really culturally relevant brands. And everything he's ever done is very, very in demand. So I snapped this up. I'm not quite sure what this one will go for. This is obviously, that's that's the front and this is the back. This is a size medium. It's in great shape. I'll kind of give this a good wash, uh, make sure it's nice and bright and white. It's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of like sweat stain over here, which I can easily get out. But these go anything that Joe Freshgood has touched. 
this could easily go for 50 bucks. Now I'm not gonna bank on that. I'm probably gonna bank on somewhere between 20 and 30, but that that was a cool find to find in the bins. Next up and in a hard left turn, I found another little beautiful Parker piece. This I feel like I keep finding them and I'm, I'm not quite sure where they're coming from. Uh, but this is so romantic. It's just this beautiful little silk and lace top. It's got these fabric covered buttons, a little drawstring waist. It's a size large, which I love to see some peasant sleeves. This will go, I mean, there is a movement for like this fairy core and cottage core. This kind of falls in that world, but it's very high end and elevated. This is again, it's silk. Parker is a brand that makes super high-end pieces. The construction is really beautiful. Um, you know, they were sold at like Neiman Marcus and Bergdorf Goodman, and this was probably a two or three hundred dollar shirt, if not a little bit more expensive. I think probably around two or three hundred because there's no beading on it. But, you know, I'll still probably see somewhere between thirty and fifty dollars on this. This was a great find, and for sure it's a brand to keep your eyes out for. If, if you found Parker pieces while you are out thrifting, let me know because I feel like I've never seen them until very recently, and I've been seeing a lot kind of back to back to back. So let me know if you've seen it before. Next up, now who doesn't love a sequin moment? <laughs> this is a cute little sequin mini dress. Isn't that so cute? This is a cute little sequin dress, and this is from ABS, Alan Schwartz. And ABS is a pretty high-end dress designer. You'll see him kind of in the same realm as like an Adriana Papel. I don't know if he's still in business, but um, the stuff he makes is really beautiful. So it's kind of like a collar like this, and then boom, on the back, it's a nice open back, but it's kind of like a looser fit, which is nice. So you can have that little bit of like a skin moment, you can have that little like mini skirt moment, but you're still like, not suctioned into a dress. What size is this? This is a size 10. So it's a great little piece. You know, probably again somewhere between 30 and 45 on this. It's super, super cute. It's a shame I didn't find this right before New Year's because this is such a New Year's dress. Next up, this I grabbed because I just th I thought it was so pretty and I saw the tag and I'd never seen it before but I grabbed it because it just it, like it, it was it was unusual enough and well made enough for me to pay attention right so that is kind of one of my rules when it comes to shopping like if it's weird and well made I'm gonna pay attention and that usually pays off uh, but I got this back to my cart and turns out this is an anthropology brand which absolutely tracks for this but I thought it was so pretty so first of all it's this cute like mushroom color I love the back so the back has a little bit of a split. I don't know how well you can see that, like when it's hanging down, but it's got this really interesting knit pattern. Let me get you up close on that. Can you see that? I've never seen a knit quite like that. It almost feels like crochet lace versus like a straight knit. It's really pretty. It's a size small. Um, you know, I still think I'll get somewhere between 20 and 35 on that. It definitely kind of falls in line with like Guinevere pieces or Meadow Rue pieces. They all kind of have that similar like ethereal fantasy look to them. This really falls in line with that. So, so pretty and in great condition. Next up, and this is a label for sure you want to keep your eyes out for, and that is All Saints. All Saints is a super expensive brand. They're very like hot right now. They're very, they're very much trending. I love, so this shirt has a couple things going for it that I think means it'll move pretty quickly. First of all, it's like a silky feel to it. It's got almost like a, um, it almost feels like satin. It's not, it's just the weave of whatever the material is. I like that it's got this spread collar. See how that kind of, it's like permanently open. That's what's called a spread collar. Um, and it's kind of, it's like a, it's a, it's a dark tropical print, but it's still kind of a tropical print. So this to me is like, going to go pretty quickly with spring break season right around the corner. You got those kind of early spring vacations that people take just to like break the cold of the winter. Uh, I think that this will go pretty quickly. I think I'll probably see somewhere between 30 and 40 for this, maybe a little bit more. Um, very cool find. This is a size large men's, so all the things going for it. Next up is this cute little sweater from Brandy Melville. 
Now again, I don't pick up a ton of Brandy Melville. A lot of their stuff just isn't necessarily made really well, but I do like some of their sweaters. I don't love that they're one size, just in case any of you need to know or are considering buying something that is one size fits all. Typically one size fits all means that it's going to fit a small, a medium, and a large. It's not gonna fit an extra large and anybody who's an extra small is gonna be swimming in it. Extra small or smaller and extra large and larger is not, it's not gonna fit. Um, but this is a flag sweater and this is something I don't necessarily care what brand it is. Anything American flag is gonna sell. It, it's just anything American flag is absolutely positively gonna sell. So if you see it and you get it at the right price. Now granted, this is Brandy Melville, so I'll probably see 20, $25 on this. You know, use your judgment when it comes to what brand it is, but just know that this will be a reliable seller. Uh, no matter what you find in an American flag print. Maybe not a t-shirt, but if you're finding a sweater, if you're finding swim trunks, anything like that, pick it up as long as the price is right. Next up, another really kind of significant free people piece. This blouse is so beautiful. So it's got, um, so it's got kind of a collar that goes around and it's got, a, let me see if I can get you up close on that. So the collar goes around and it's got like a V-neck under it. But look at the beadwork on this. It is like really heavily embroidered on these like exaggerated peasant sleeves. Look at that work. Isn't that beautiful? This was probably like when this was sold from anthropology, this was probably like a $300 shirt. It's very blousey. It's very much like a peasant shirt. Um, this just always, this is always going to have a market. Um, this could be a 10 year old shirt, very easily could be a 10 year old shirt, but it will still sell probably pretty quickly because of that beadwork, because the exaggeration of the peasant sleeves, like people just really love that like billowy, extremely boho look. This is a size small. It's otherwise in great condition. I cannot wait to get this thing listed. I just like, I cannot get over this beadwork. Like I love in particular this little piece. Looks like a cloud to me. That's stunning. Like these are the kind of things that you do not find in the thrift store. You just don't find them because people can sell them and they can sell for like very good amounts of money. I rarely get very excited about a free people find. I'm excited about that one. Next up, ooh, this is a brand I want you to keep your eyes out for. Now this is one of their smaller pieces, uh, but this is called Juice. And that is pronounced Juice. And Juice is a brand that is in ski and in golf. That's kind of their two core competencies. They're very, very high end. Let me put it to you this way. Back in the day, I used to work in a ski shop and we're going back probably 15 years or so. And we sold juice jackets and juice jackets were by far the highest end that we had in store. And the one jacket we had, one of the selling points that we were told by the sales rep, the rep for the company was that that jacket had more parts than a Toyota Camry. So that speaks to their level of like technical construction. Um, Juice pieces are very expensive. They are built incredibly well. Like this, again, looks like a little insignificant, um, you know, little like sleeveless top, but the details, like, do you see like that kind of targeted mesh there? I don't know if you can really see this in the camera, but the, this, right here and right here is all mesh. It was like the construction on this is incredible. This was probably a hundred dollar shirt, you know, back when it was bought. I'll probably get, again, this is one of their smallest pieces that you can get from them. Somewhere 25 to 35 for this, but guys, keep your eyes out, especially if you are in an area where you get any kind of ski gear. Um, like keep your eyes out for that brand because they sell, I mean that jacket 15 years ago, that jacket that I was talking about was I think $1,400. So that gives you an idea of their level of like pricing, incredibly high end. Definitely a brand to keep your eyes out for. I was so excited to see this in the bins. And I gotta say, this feels brand new. This really feels like it's never been worn. Next up, now this is a splendid sweater. Again, I don't pick up a ton of splendid pieces, but the ones that I do tend to be a little bit more significant. And I just thought that this, like, this is kind of an oversized long line cardigan, which usually sells pretty well for me. 
I love that seaming in the back. Can you see how it all kind of comes down to a point there? It's a little bit of a perforated knit. Let me get you up close on that so you can see. Uh, it's this pretty like grayish color that is, you know, so flattering and so in right now. It is a size large and it's in perfect condition. This will probably go, I don't know, 30 to 35 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Splendid is a very expensive brand. This probably was close to $200 new, uh, maybe closer to 40 on this. Um, this was a cool find. I, I rarely find the sweater pieces. A lot of the stuff I find are like the t-shirts. Um, on occasion, I'll find like a like one of their fuzzy sweatshirts that are kind of like that teddy bear fuzzy. Um, this is only one of like two sweaters I've ever found. And the first one that I found a couple years back sold really quick. So interested to see how this goes. Next up, this was a cool find. These are Gymshark. That is the logo. See how it kind of looks like a shark? Gymshark stuff moves really quickly for me. I've never found a pair of shorts like this. This is, I think they're, they call it like their seamless um, two layer shorts. So like underneath, like they're known, Gymshark is known for their seamless leggings and seamless leggings are known for a uh, lack of camel toe. I'm not gonna explain what that is, but uh, Google it at your own peril. <laughs> it's what happens when you have a seam down the front of a legging. So seamless leggings are known for not having that, right? Like they don't have the seam down the front. And they tend to be like a tougher like stretch like this. I don't know if you can tell how hard I'm kind of pulling on this, but this is like compression. This will snatch your waist in. And then it's got like the little run short over top. This is a size, I think extra small. Where did I see it? Gymshark, and thanks to one of you guys for telling me this, sometimes puts their tags down by the ankles. This is a size small. And they feel brand new. They might have been worn once or twice, but um, a good find. You know, probably somewhere between $20 and $30. They don't retail for all that much, but some of like the rarer colors and the leggings for sure, like they resell. You know, people are looking to get a deal on these because they don't really go on sale all that often. So keep your eyes out for Gymshark. You know, don't go paying like $15 for a Gymshark pair of shorts because you're not going to make your money back. But if you can get it for a dollar or two dollars or three dollars, like it's going to be a safe bet pretty much anything that they put out. Next up is a cute little kimono. I think this is called the Sea Spray Kimono um, and from Free People. Like I, I rarely find these kind of pieces from Free People. Super lightweight, gauzy. It's got this pretty like ombre speckled look. It's got a little split in the back there. It's a one, one size? Yeah, it doesn't have any tags, so one size, I'm guessing. You know, probably 20 or 30 bucks on this. This should go quickly. Kimonos, you know, always go really quickly. They're a great bundle piece. Everybody loves a topper piece. And, you know, like I said, I rarely find ones from free people, so that's an exciting find. Next up is this cute little top. So this is 100% linen, and this is from Laundry by Shelly Seagal. I don't often pick up this brand. I don't see a lot of it. I'm not quite sure if they're still in business. I feel like they are. Uh, I feel like I've seen them at like uh, Saks maybe. But for me, this was more about style. So it's 100% linen and it's this cute like cropped little button down shirt. It's a size small in this pretty like seafoam green. I don't know how well that's reading on camera, but this should sell pretty quickly. Like I said, it's kind of fitting into that eclectic grandpa look. It's got that cropped silhouette that's so hot right now. Probably somewhere between 28 and 32 on this. I just thought this was a really cute find and I love this color. I think this color is so pretty. Next up, now this is one of those things that I will grab. I don't necessarily care what brand it is. They tend to all be like boutique brands but they will sell quickly. This is a little kimono. God, that's a lot of kimonos today. This is a little kimono that has that like boho, heavily embroidered look to it. Every time I've had one of these, they've sold within two or three days. And this one is actually in perfect condition. I feel like I've never found one in perfect condition. This is from Indigo Poppy. It's size 2X, so it's a nice large size. This has everything going for it. I'll probably get, you know, this will probably be another maybe 28 to $32 piece. Um, and I anticipate this selling pretty quickly. Definitely something, if you see something like this out there, and I'm talking specifically the kimono silhouette, the shirts don't necessarily sell 
quite as quickly. They will sell, but they won't sell as quickly as the kimonos, so good find. And if you can find one in not this color, it'll sell even quicker. Next up, another brand I was excited to see. Uh, this is, I mean, this is like a little tank top, so it's not gonna go too, too quick, but Zoot, as you see there, Zoot is a triathlon brand. And um, I don't know if any of you guys are involved in triathlons, have somebody in your life that's involved in triathlons, but the first thing I can tell you about triathlons is that they are really expensive to kit yourself out for. You know, the real serious people get triathlon specific bikes, they get triathlon specific clothing, and I've recently learned, the last couple uh, hauls I've done, I found these 2XU patterns, and um, I brought them up to somebody I know who has been involved in that world, and he was like, yeah, those are triathlon pants. So 2XU is a triathlon pant. So if you have anything, or you find anything from that 2XU, be sure you're using triathlon as a keyword. Um, but Zoot is another one. Uh, this is a little triathlon top. But I love how everything on these garments is very, like, purpose-made. So, like, if you look at the back, if you look at the back of a cycling jersey, you've got usually like a row of pockets that can hold pretty much anything. When it comes to a triathlon, for the most part, you really like only get a bite in the middle of your transitions when you're going from swim to bike, bike to run. I think that's the order it goes into. Yeah, swim, bike, run. So what you're seeing in here is those little like goo packs. It's just like tall and long. Like you can't really fit anything other than like a protein bar or little like calorie packs in there. So I don't know. It's uh it's pretty it's pretty cool find. I'll probably 25 35 bucks, but guys, keep your eyes out for this. And if you ever find something that looks like a one piece with that label on it, snap it up. Those things go for 2-300 and they are, you know, they don't get a ton of wear. That's kind of the cool part about this. Like this was probably only worn for competition. Next up here, gotta love finding my silk. This is an Eileen Fisher piece, Eileen Fisher Petites. But this is that vivid orange silk blouse, fantastic condition, very simple. It's a small petite, but this, you know, this was probably a good three, $400 shirt when it was new. I'll probably get somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks for this. Um, great find. I love finding Eileen Fisher. Such a cult following, really good quality stuff. Next up, now ooh, this was such a cool find. I love when I find these. Um, I don't find them all that often. The last one I found sold in like two days and that is a vintage dress from Laura Ashley. Now, uh, but Laura Ashley is just, it's so in demand, people really love it. People love the kind of prairie dress look. Um, this is a cotton one. The more in demand ones are the ones that are that like micro whale corduroy. Uh, that's the ones that people really want, but this will still probably sell 40 or 50 bucks. This is in like perfect condition, pretty much brand new. It's a size medium, 100% cotton. I can't remember, it says it's made in the UAE and I remember reading about the years that Laura Ashley was made in England versus the UAE versus they, they manufactured somewhere else. I want to say that this is early 90s, but this was such a great find, guys. If you have some stuffed in the back of your closet that you're never going to wear again, get them listed. People want them. People really want them. This was such a cool find. So, so cool. Next up, you had me at linen. This is a cute pair of Athleta linen pants. I think these are a little bit older, um, but they are just navy blue, kind of looser leg, cropped linen pants. So they will sell. They're a size four, great condition. You know, probably 20 to 30 bucks on these. These, like, the, they still make similar pants to this, and they go for, like, 120 bucks, I think. They're pretty expensive, and they sell out pretty quickly. So um, I think this is a great find, and I think this is something that will move pretty quickly. Again, we're kind of moving into that season. Um, but I like the nice wide waistband. I like that it's elasticated in the back, something that, um, you know, linen will kind of mold to your body if you once you wear it enough, but... 
Uh, waistbands can be rigid and when you are in that breezy I want to wear linen pants mode you don't want a rigid waistband so love finding that kind of stuff. Next up here now this is a brand I want you to keep your eyes out for this is a simple little plain white tee um, but this is Rag and Bone and Rag and Bone is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Their jeans sell I think their jeans sell retail for almost $400 their shoes are really expensive but all of their stuff is made really well like the textiles are really nice and if you can kind of see this has like the tiniest little embroidered heart can you see that i feel like that's blasting out the lens right there but they do this line of heart t-shirts that sells this could easily go 40 or 50 bucks on the resale market like they're pretty in demand i am not going to bank on that i'm probably going to bank on somewhere 2025 but Definitely like I I will never leave behind a rag and bone piece. You know, you can even probably comfortably pay up a little bit even for a simple little t-shirt. Um, obviously do your research before you do that, but this is a great find in the bins all day, every day. Love finding it. Next up, um, are you ready for this? In the bins for $1. Now, Magnolia Pearl, is one of the biggest bowler brands you're ever going to find. They have a voracious fan base uh, and they buy secondhand like crazy. Now, if this was a more substantial piece, this is like a little t-shirt, um, super cute. And I think the tag has been cut out. They usually have kind of a, a longer tag here, but the inside tag is still there. This sold probably for a hundred to 150 bucks for a t-shirt. Um, if you find a more significant piece, like the kimonos are really high in demand, the pants are really high in demand. The thing about Magnolia Pearl, they're very, very controversial. Their whole aesthetic is what they call poverty chic. Um, it, you know, it, uh, it rubs some people the wrong way. But the bottom line is, if you are thrifting to resell, <laughs> This is a very exciting brand to find. Like I saw like the MAG kind of sticking out of a pile of clothes and I was like, I'm gonna take that. Uh, this, depending on if it's still in stock or not. And listen, while this looks extremely worn and weathered, like that's the whole shtick. That is their whole thing. You can see there's like little holes up around the neckline that's all done. And you know, listen, it's very nicely made. It's very, very, very nice quality. Um, it, it better be. <laughs> but this is for sure a grail to find. I cannot believe I found this in the bins. Like I've never found this in a thrift store. I've never found this in a secondhand store. Anytime I've seen it online secondhand, it's $100, $200, $300. Um, and it moves quick. So this was an exciting find. I'm probably gonna bank on maybe 40 bucks for this. Um, it could fetch uh, quite a bit more. Some of the uh, more in-demand t-shirts go for like $170. So there's that. Keep your eyes out for Magnolia Pearl, guys. If you have ever found it while you are thrifting or in the bins, please let me know down below. I'm dying to hear like what you found, how fast did it sell, how much did you get for it? Let us know. Like this is this is such an interesting case study for me. Like I want to know, I want to know what people have found, where they found it, and how much they've, uh, how much they've gotten for it. So what a great find. Next up, I just thought this was so pretty and ethereal. This is a pretty little silk skirt from Club Monaco. Club Monaco is like a high-end mall brand. This is 100% silk. I love the pleats on this. This feels very springtime. It feels kind of timeless, a little whimsical. It's kind of a, an interesting length. It's like right at knee. Uh, it's a size six, size six, yep, and 100% silk. This will probably go 35 to 45. Club Monaco is pretty expensive. This was probably somewhere 200 to $250 new. Uh, a great find. I always love finding Club Monaco pieces because the, the quality is really, really nice. Like Next up is, a, it's, this is an Italian linen piece. I don't know about this brand, um, but I'm always, it's called Saga. 
always excited to find an Italian linen piece. And this is just a really interesting cut. I've never seen anything like this. First of all, it's a beautiful ice blue. It's got this interesting asymmetric seaming on the front. And then if you look at the bottom, it's got this like, it's got a little bit of a rib band and then an asymmetrical hem. I think that this will go pretty quickly. This feels very like exactly what people who like that log and look style are looking for. You know, they don't necessarily love a lot of symmetry. They love a little funk to it. Um, and I thought that this was really cute. I don't think there's a size tag on here. Yeah, no size tag, but you know, probably $25, $35 on this. Italian linen, I don't necessarily care what brand it is. If it's in good shape, I'm gonna grab it because Italian linen sells. There are just people who really love Italian made linen. Same goes with French linen. Next up, I've got another little Gymshark piece. This is just a little t-shirt, like a little men's t-shirt in a nice, I love this color green. Uh, this is just a super basic little t-shirt. Uh, again, these, these go really quickly. It's a size medium, uh, really nice quality. These, I don't think they sell much more than 38. I think that's what they go for. But this will still go for like 20 to 25 dollars and it'll probably sell pretty quickly and uh, even like a little bit faster if the color is sold out because people search for specific Gymshark colors so again you know if you're getting it at the right price grab Gymshark it will move and it'll move pretty quick. Next up is a little cobby piece we've talked about cobby before here I think this is the older tag correct me if I'm wrong guys I can't remember I feel like this is the older tag, but this is a more significant piece uh, than anything I've ever seen before. Typically I've seen like dresses or kimonos. The kimonos I've had have sold lightning quick, but this is like a little sweat, sweat jacket. Like this is kind of like a fleece fabric. It's got that French terry back. It's got a little bit of a moto style front to it, which I thought was so cute. Um, it is very soft. It's got slightly belled sleeves, but they have like a little, um, zip detail on the back like a moto jacket. I'm not quite sure. I've gotten pieces from Kabi that have sold kind of bread and butter price and I've also gotten pieces from Kabi that have sold kind of higher price like Bolo brand price. So question mark. I'm gonna bank on 25 to 35 on this probably but could go higher if it is an in-demand piece. I will say the quality on it is really nice. Like I love the feel of it. It feels like a nice stretchy fleece. You know, sometimes you get that like fleece that's a little stiff and doesn't have enough stretch. Uh, this feels like it would be very cozy, very cute. Next up, just in time for Valentine's Day, is this beautiful little Cosabella nighty. It's all uh, like little net. It's got little red and pink and purple dots all over it. Cosabella is a brand to be on the lookout for. This is an Italian made lingerie brand. Um, obviously lingerie is not for everybody. I don't buy everything, like I don't do underwear, but I will pick up bras if I find them in great condition, especially if I can find like a fuller figure bra. Cosabella will sell really, really well. It's a very like in demand brand. You'll see it at Neiman Marcus, you'll see it at Bergdorf Goodman. Like this is very, very nice. Um, probably again, this is not a super significant piece, but probably 25, $35 on this. And I would not be surprised if this sells really quick with Valentine's Day right around the corner. So cute. And I love like, this is just really nice quality English net. That's what this is called English net. Next up, we've got another little Italian linen piece guys speak my language this is brand new with tags super cute so it's just like a basic little shell top white crisp white with this like cut work lace scallop trim on the bottom isn't that gorgeous you know there's a lot of people in this world that are gonna be like that looks like a tablecloth well okay i would like to wear a tablecloth then i just think this is so pretty this is a size small Again, brand new with tags, still attached, from Valentina Naldi, made in Italy. Gorgeous, somewhere 25, 35 bucks. Again, white linen is forever in style. These are forever pieces. Next up, ooh, this was an exciting find. Uh, I haven't been finding a lot of soft surroundings and like bing, bam, boom. Here's a beautiful, like peacock blue i think this is a size uh yeah the size tag's been cut out so 
um, I think I'll have to just do measurements on this, but look at that color. And it's 100% silk. Love to find it. So it's got these little three quarter sleeves. It's got the construction quality that you expect from soft surroundings. Look at the pockets on that. They're so flattering. Like I like that kind of sideways cut. It kind of like gives you a little bit of framing around the bust. Just a beautiful find. And I, like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is a 1X. I'm almost positive this is a 1X and that is a great size to find. Anything like 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X and soft surroundings will fly out of your closet. I almost never find it, but it's one of those things that go, it just goes to show they're hard to find. So anybody who is in you know the hunt for a 4X shirt like this, it's gonna get snapped up out of your closet if and when you do find one. So always keep your eyes out. Uh, make sure you grab those larger sizes because it, it can be really discouraging, you know, shopping for them. So I love to be able to have them available for anybody who needs them. Just a, what a great find. So great. I'm like, look at that color. Look at that peacock blue. Isn't that beautiful? I think, just heads up, I know Fuzzy Peach is the Pantone color of the year. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of these kind of vivid almost like electronic colors starting to trend come summer to fall. I think we're gonna see a little bit more of that like cyber trend coming up. So just keep your eyes out. All right, so next up here, this was such a cool find. This is another Free People piece. This is a little medium. This is a knit midi skirt. And I don't know if you can see this. So it's got like a rib knit and it's got a split in the front. I found the name of this and I can't remember. Probably 20 to 30 on this. I think this is pretty recent. So super cute, super cute find there. Next up, this, one of my favorite brands to find. This is James Purse. And I've talked about James Purse a lot in a couple different pieces that I found, but like James Purse cotton is like, it's so nice. I have always wanted, again, I betting snob, I have always wanted to get a set of his sheets and they're crazy expensive. And you know, just feeling anything that I find from him, I get it because he uses the best of the best cotton. So beautiful. This is like a little button front midi dress, black, ribbed, so flattering, v-neck, long sleeve, quality 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 it's a size two which i believe is a size medium um this is just a great find this was probably three or four hundred dollars new i'll probably get 40 or 50 bucks on this i don't think it'll take that long to sell it is such a perfect little basic it's a great transitional piece into into spring um and it's just like it's an always gonna be in style kind of dress so it's something that's an easy call to like make that investment on um, and again you know James Purse does not resell in line with the retail price again this was probably somewhere around 40 bucks so just like Eileen Fisher this is like one of my favorite kind of brands to find because not only is it a great sales price for me because it's a little bit elevated for my bread and butter but it's also like a huge savings for the for the buyer especially if you can find it in like great condition this feels like it's maybe been worn once, maybe twice. Um, just a really, really great find. Super excited about this. And definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. James Purse is one of those brands, even like even on a pretty insignificant piece, um, you can probably afford to pay up a little bit on it. And they will sell very quickly. People really see, search out that name. Next up, I got this cute, this is a little bread and butter piece. This is a cute little boho piece from Lucky Jeans or Lucky Brand. Um, these kind of more significant boho style shirts, this feels very like free people to me. Uh, these tend to go really quick in the spring and summer from Lucky. And I just thought this was so cute. I love the pattern on this. I love the piecing on this. I love, I love a ladder stitch. And this has that kind of like, it's not necessarily a ladder stitch, it's a little bit different. Can you kind of see that? It's a little zigzag. This is a size small. This will go probably 18 to 23 or so, maybe a little bit more, um, but super cute and in great condition. Feels brand new. Love finding these little pieces. Next up, this was kind of a cool find. This is a Victoria's Secret satin jumpsuit. 
which when I got it home, so it's bright pink. I mean, this is Barbie all over the place. So this, I got it and it says a size large. And when I was holding it up, I'm like, okay, up here feels kind of like a size large. But when you get to here, this does not feel like a size large. And when I got home, I was looking for like the fabric content tag. And I realized that somebody had gone in and taken this in. I'm looking at this. This is one, two, three, six inches. They had taken this in like six inches, pretty much all the way down from right about here. So from right about the waist and down, this has been brought in about six inches. So I'm going to go in and it looks like this was just done with a sewing machine. Like this is just a regular, like straight stitch. I'm going to go in with a seam ripper and take this out and see how it looks. Now it could completely destroy this garment, um, which would be a bummer, but you know, I would rather like, I can't necessarily sell it like this. Uh, so at this point, it's just kind of an experiment. Like if I can get this back to its kind of like free flowing, like wide leg original state without having like a line of holes <laughs> down the front, um, I'll be pretty excited. So TBD on this, I'll see if I can like, maybe I'll try to like make a little TikTok um, about ripping out the seams, about doing that little, uh, a little experiment. By the way, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram and you're on TikTok or Instagram, uh, be sure to follow along there. I'll put my handles right over here. Um, but I always try to do like a ship with me. I'll do a big YouTube video, like when I have enough to make it interesting for you. Um, if not, I'll do like a little quick one minute job. I'll do that on TikTok. I'll do it on Instagram. Sometimes I'll put it on YouTube shorts. Um, but I'll also highlight some of the cool like vintage pieces I find. Maybe I'll see what I can do with this. Uh, would that be interesting to you? If that's something that, uh, you know, let me know. If you have suggestions for what you want to see on like my short form videos or even on my main videos, uh, let me know. I'm all ears. I do this for you guys. It makes me happy to no end. Um, but yeah, kind of a cool find and I'm kind of excited to see what I can do. I have zero estimates on this. <laughs> I have no idea what the, I don't even know if I'll even be able to sell this. So, um, We'll find out together. We've got two more here. Now this is a Zara piece. I think this is a little bit of a, an older Zara piece. This is a Zara woman. It's kind of the older Zara tag. But I just thought this top was so cute. So this is kind of a cropped, like, boucle um, plaid shirt with a funnel neck. And it's got this little, like, kind of fringe detail down the front. I just thought this was so cute. I really just thought this was so, so cute. I love the silhouette. I love that it's a little bit of that like lady look to it. I don't think this is like not something that will ever be out of style or ever be like super trendy or completely out of style. Probably 20 to 30 bucks on this because it's a little bit more significant. What size is this? Size extra small. So it's an, it's an oversized fit. Isn't that cute? I thought this was so cute. This is something 100% I would wear on a dressy day. Uh, it's very my style. This is very up my alley. Um, but I was super excited to find that. I just thought that was so, such a cool piece. So different too. Like little, like I love things that are very classic, but a little left of center. Like that's, that is the Julia Lane. So finally is this really gorgeous dress. I think this was the first thing I found, uh, which makes sense because it's all the way at the bottom of the bag. Um, and this is from Abel the Label. And Abel the Label is a, an anthropology brand pretty sure it's an anthropology brand. And it's this beautiful maxi dress. Look at that skirt. This is like a good twirling skirt. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, sometimes you get those maxi dresses and you want to twirl and it only goes out to like this. When I want to twirl, I want a skirt to go out. Call me an eight-year-old child. I'm here for it. Uh, anyway, this is in perfect condition. It's this beautiful like navy and peach. I love the colors on this. What size is this? Size small, again, perfect condition, little flutter sleeves. This is so feminine. It's got like a little V-neck. It's got little delicate buttons down the front. Can you see that? I know this is a busy pattern, so it's gonna be hard to see anything past that, but it's got like little ruching around the bust. It's got those cute little delicate buttons. Details, details, details. It's got like a little belt to cinch in the waist. This is beautiful. And Able to Label is a very expensive brand. This was probably $238 new. Um, probably somewhere 
around 40 bucks for this. Um, it's very much the season. This is something that could easily be like a wedding guest dress. This could be a church dress. This could just be like a nice night out. This could be resort wear. Um, this was a great find. And guys, this is in like perfect condition. I'm willing to bet that this was one of those dresses that was bought, worn once, and never worn again. It very much has that feel. What a great find. But that is it, guys. That is the haul. I think it was a pretty great week. It felt like it was... You know, sometimes you get to the bins and it's like a struggle. Like last week I went and it was rough. It was just crazy busy and frenetic and the energy and people were like really, you know, grabbing and all over the bins. This past week when I went, it was such a jovial time. Like it was, everybody was laughing, everybody was having a good time, joking with each other. Like I love when you have those moments there. Like, you know, obviously we're all there for the most part to do the same thing. Either you're shopping for yourself or you're shopping to resell, um, you know, but everybody was having a good time. Like everybody was really polite. Like I loved it. And I think I found some really cool pieces. I mean like Joe Fresh Goods, what? In the bins? Unbelievable. Magnolia Pearl in the bins? I, I can't, it was crazy. It was a crazy week. But for all of you numbers nerds out there, I had 34 pieces. So I spent $34. I went to my, um, my favorite bins location that's a dollar a piece. The one that's closer to home, not the same one I went to last week. But all in, this is about a $4,500 MSRP on all the things that I found, which is insane. But I'm anticipating somewhere around $1,000 in sales, which will net me about $800 in profit. And that gives me an ROI of 23.5x. I am super happy about that. It's a great return on investment. Um, you know, I think the best I've ever had was about 27 and that was only a couple weeks ago I'll link that haul down below if you haven't seen it because it was insane but guys I cannot thank you enough for hanging with me while I do my haul I cannot believe that there's a community out there that loves this stuff so guys, I just like my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you you have no idea what you mean to me um, if you were in the running for that pillow purse I will insert the uh, the drawing footage right now. Hi guys, editing Julia here. I am working currently on getting the video edited and uploaded for tomorrow, but before I do that, of course, I have to do the drawing for the incredible little pillow purse. So many of you spoke up and said that you wanted it, so I think there were 16 in total, so I have you all in here in my handy little Phillies hat, go Phils, and let's do the drawing, obviously. Just want to stir it up a little bit and that's the winner so the person who wins it is sweet mountain violet is that focusing maybe sweet mountain violet you have won um, i will comment on your original post here and let you know how to get in touch with me so congratulations i hope you love it i hope you do something cool with it um tag me in pictures with it please i want to see what you do with it but guys if you had fun don't forget to hit like and subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be notified anytime i put up a video but guys without further ado have an incredible week happy hunting i hope you find all the treasures and i will see you in the next one